I do love watching stuff fly past you in slow motion. Whoa! Oh, there's a guy over there! Didn't even see you! That was lucky. Dodging stuff in VR is uh, very cool. You're big. Uh. Oh, what? Okay, so here we are in presentment of death. Now, from what I know of this game, it is essentially super hot, but with archery. That's it. That's all I know about this game. So we're going to jump in relatively blind and see what this game has to offer. Nice short intro. So enough chit chat. Let's go on with the video, shall we? Game on. This is very fancy. Uh. Ooh, that was close. Grab, grab what? The cube. So they all move no matter what. You can move around, it would seem. There's no stick movement. But as soon as I draw the bow, they start walking faster. But yeah, very much super hot in uh, practice, other than the fact that they're moving and I can move around. Whew. Good thing my uh, archery is still somewhat decent. I mean, do I even have to hit them in the head? No, I can hit them anywhere. Okay. Now, to draw the string back, I am having to pull the tr hold the trigger. Instead of the grip, I'm having to use the trigger. Oh. I want to see if I could grab it. Maybe with the trigger, no? Okay, so apologies if I turn my back. Ooh, got ya. I want to see if I can grab this. I can grab it! Well, so far, it's very much super hot in its mechanics. Got him in the arm. Gonna hold on to this. Terrible throw. Anyone else? Oh, I like. Yeah, I keep trying to use the grab button. I know one went behind the bookcase. I like. In the heart. Oh, I guess that's that stage done. I like that, obviously, there's classical music playing. I am a... I do like a bit of classical music every now and then. Oh, straight over his shoulder. Whoop. Who got... Oh, I didn't see that one coming. Shit, that was close. No. Oh, no, I did get him. stuff in VR is uh, very cool. You're big. Uh. Oh, what? Crap, I'm going to get shot in the back, aren't I? Oh. In the side and in the back. Right. Focus. 
Too high. Arm shot. Ah! Right, I said focus and I didn't focus. Got you. Oh, come on! So you need to make sure you got a bit of room. To move around. Well, not move around, but at least to spin around. Now what's going to happen now? Okay, it what? Oh no! <laughs> it worked and didn't work. Oh, God damn it! So yeah, even if you completed it and you still get hit by something, it's game over. What? I'm ducking. Ah, oh, God damn it! All right, so this guy, his. Axe spins, it would seem. So I'm just gonna come down, let that go over. Oh, come on! I wouldn't mind if, if a boss mode like that, you just respawn at the boss stage. Not the entire area. Ah. Oh. Do you ever have deja vu, Mrs. Lancaster? I don't think so, but I could check with the kitchen. Well, it's Groundhog Day. Again? Now here's, here's the interesting thing, right? This is the start of the game, as it were. I'm already getting frustrated. I mean, it's fun, but there's not much to it. But I'm getting frustrated because it seems... I don't know. It's, whoa, what happened there? I'm stuck in this section. That's what's frustrating. I mean, I grabbed it. <sighs> what? If this continues, this is going to be a very short video. Oh, I got him! Finally! Oh. <laughs> we did it! Oh, thank fuck for that. No, I mean, I guess also it has that element of... Oh, not really, I was going to say a Souls element to it. But, uh... When you do finally overcome the challenge, that's what I meant. That's what I mean, when you do finally overcome a challenge... Oh, you feel relieved. Oh, he's an archer as well. Got it. Ah, in mind we trust. We just step over here slightly. Ugh. I mean, it's a bit like having Terminators come walking towards you. Now, I understand, obviously, they're trying not to copy Super Hot too much, I guess. But I think it would have been better that time stops if you don't move, like in Super Hot. I mean, yes, this adds a bit more of a challenge, I guess. I wonder if I can shoot one out the air. Oh, nearly. Uh, it's, I mean, it's hard to even see them. There they go. I mean, yeah. I mean, you do. You need to be able to step out of the way of shots. So if you don't have enough play space, this game's going to be. Uh, tricky to play. That looks good. That looks good. There we go. But the premise of the game is good. I like the concept of it. I think it needs to be... <sighs> Feels like it's more of a polished prototype than anything. It still needs to go through some testing and iteration, I feel. Because what they've got is good. 
I think it just needs a bit more fine tuning. Oh, what are those? Good thing is you don't have to pull back too far on the string. You can literally... Oh, that... Oh, no. I was going to say. I thought, uh... If I shot more than one arrow, they despawned. But they don't. How did that... Hmm. Really, you're going to say that got me? Well, I can clearly see it going in front of my face. See, this is what I mean by needs a bit more polish, it would seem. The hitbox on the player must be quite big. Right, here we go. Oh, we did it. Ooh, I mean, I do like the environments. It would be cool if, I don't know, to obviously make it a bit more different. If you could have like teleportation movement or smooth locomotion, so you could freely move around these environments, have more enemies, but still have the time slowdown element. So the more you move, the more of normal time it is, so if you go at full walking, running pace, then it's at normal speed. Also, that would be cool. Walking pace would be normal speed, sprinting would be either time and a half or double time, and then obviously the slower you go, the slower time goes. That would be a very cool mechanic. But standing still in these beautiful environments, I mean, time has been spent making these environments but we're not able to properly explore them long shot that's good see ya and what's interesting is there is actual physics involved look at that is it, is it needed in this sort of game I don't know if it is Oh, hello. Why is it my aim can be amazing one minute and then terrible the next? There we go. I do love watching stuff fly past you in slow motion. Whoa! Oh, there's a guy over there. Didn't even see you. That was lucky. I aimed high thinking there's going to be some gravity to pull it down, but I don't think there is for your arrows. Oh, come on. I watched it pass me. See, now I remember there's someone over there. Oh, I got them both pretty quickly. No way. Three arrows, three kills. Three arrows, three kills. Ah, on to another level. You know what? I'm going to leave it here, guys, because I don't want to just go through and complete the entire game. Ooh, spears. So you've got a taste of what this game has to offer. Right. It's cool and frustrating at the same time. I think it still needs some work, some fixes. It's already had some patches and hot fixes because this has been out for some time now. I understand they've obviously, they're trying to get in on the whole super hot craze because that was a very popular game. But obviously with a twist with archery in that they always move. So it has its cool moments like that, but 
they could have done more with it, I feel. If you've got to be conscious of your space, then... Oh, fuck. Then this might not be the best game to play. Got him. Because you're having to move around your space. Ah, and dodge shit. <laughs> but I hope you've enjoyed this look at Presentiment in Death. Like I said, it is fun. It is frustrating at the same time. So take what you've seen here and make your own opinions. But if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on future content. And until next time, stay safe, have fun, and game on. <laughs>